Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be sharing some products that did not work for me. So it's pretty much products I regret buying. I'm just simply honestly sharing things that don't work out for me and I'm not here to try to offend anyone. I just feel like I have to say that because when I did my Dollar Tree one, oh people were out to get me and I'm like dude it's not that serious just because I don't like it doesn't mean you don't have to like it you can like it <laughs> so let's get started so this is by elf you guys I love the elf brand like they have so many affordable makeup different colors all of that but when I tried their skincare products it just it didn't work out for me. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Facial Cleanser. It's infused with active minerals and skin nourishing aloe green tea, jojoba, avocado, and vitamin E. So I feel like this cleanser was supposed to, it's like a powder form. I felt like it was supposed to be like a Dermalogica, um, like a good cleanser and a scrub at the same time, but I felt like it just didn't do do that and I just am not a fan of that. I, the next thing I actually recently bought from Sprout, it's by Alba Botanica. I love Alba Botanica, um, but this I don't love from them. Uh, it's their Fast Fix for Thin Lips Tinted Plumping Gloss. And the ingredient I think in it it's is cinnamon because it smells like cinnamon. I know like you could do a DIY on this, like you know, just cinnamon oil with uh, coconut oil, put it on your lips, and it's supposed to plump up your lips, right? But I feel like this didn't really plump up my lips. I have really small lips. But this is not a plumping lip gloss that works for me, but what actually works for me is by Soap and Glory, the sexy mother pucker one and then um, another one that works for me city cosmetics is really great too and then another one buxom by bare minerals all of those work this one by alba doesn't work it smells like cinnamon and also when you put it on your lips it has like a grainy consistency and i'm not about like a weird grainy feeling to it but it does have a really nice like like a tint of red to it but if it's not gonna plump my lips, I'm not really excited about the tint because I could just get any lip gloss for some tint, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted something that actually worked for plumping. Did not work for me. Let me know if it worked for you though. And then this is another product by e.l.f. You guys know I love e.l.f. so much, you guys. There's so many things I love by e.l.f. So it makes me sad saying that I don't like like their products or some of their products because I love them so much. But for some reason, this, Okay, I'm too grown for this anyways. It's their Beauty in the Beast line. I think I believe I bought this at Walgreens. <laughs> it's the super glossy lip shine and there's no like color, like there's no color that's, yeah, absolutely no color. It's the Disney Elf distributed by Walgreens. I like their lip glosses. I love the consistency of this lip gloss. I love the color, but I cannot seem to continue using it because of the smell. It just makes me feel sick. Like, I, I can't describe it. it. It's too strong of a grape scent. Um, that's the only reason why I can't continue using it. But other than that, I love the color. I love the glossiness. I love the moisturization. I love it all except for the scent. You know how, like, there's certain scents you can't handle and it makes you want to, like, kind of gag? That's how I feel. So... That's the only reason why I don't like that. So I wanted to buy something that would be a dupe for my pure eye polish um, eyeshadow. So I was like, let me get the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal. You know, like it, it's, it's talked about all the time. You know, I thought it was pretty amazing myself, but when I tried pure eye polishes, this ha this compares, does not compare to eye polishes like this. This dries too quickly, I feel, and but I wish it would just be a little creamier so I could really blend it in. Makeup Remover Cleansing Water. Um, so it works really well at removing foundation, but as far as lash glue, doesn't work really well. Like I judge makeup remover based on whether it can take lash glue out like nicely and smoothly without too much tugging or I have to like really tug like I, I I don't like I'm getting older I'm not trying to tug or like mess with that eye area you know what I mean so I guess I of course I don't like to waste cleansing products because you know so I'm going to continue using it but it's better for those who don't wear false lashes and don't have to bother with lash glue and the last thing that I wanted to mention that I 
don't enjoy using anymore is the Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Power Powder Protection. I feel like with this deodorant, it actually makes me like, it makes me smell even more for some reason. I can't describe it, but I feel like when I use like my homemade deodorant, La Vanilla, or this like, I forgot what it's called that I recently purchased, like Herbal Cowboy or something. I feel like those deodorants actually help me more, or even Dove, I, I use Dove sometimes too. I feel like those deodorants work better than this secret one for some reason. My body, something about it just, it. I feel like it makes me smell even more for some reason. Anyhow, those are just some products that I regret buying. Um, I, I hope that I didn't offend anyone if any of these were your like, go-to products, but it just didn't work for me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Would be this romper by Mink Pink, also from the Lulu site. I have a love-dislike relationship with with rompers because they're so cute on, but then when you gotta go pee, you gotta like pull the whole thing down, you know what I mean? But rompers are just so adorable.